Alrighty, well welcome back to the channel and also to Trick Tutorial Tuesdays. Look at that, I'm filming a Trick Tutorial video that's actually not over a year old. Hmm, who would do that? Now these are actually caught up in current time, actually comment down below what you guys want me to do for Trick Tutorial next, and we will see that real time comment, and we will accommodate for that, and we'll do those tricks. I'm still trying to do like a little bit of an order, like for you know, easiest trick to the hardest, but if you guys really want to see a certain trick, I will do it as long as that's the most dedicated comment. But I just got back from Cali today, I'm already doing a tutorial of Trang Gum, it's the grind, it doesn't stop. And today, we're looking at a very important concept, which is spinning on a scooter. I'm talking 360s and 180s. These are crucial in scootering because 180 is literally used everywhere. It's used on every quarter pipe. That's how you traverse the skate park, and 360s are a great trick to have in general. And so, what you want to have is a solid stance on the scooter. And of course, me, I ride an actual front side regular, so I'm going to be standing like this. And the key to getting 180s and 360s is getting a solid base jump, and from there, using your shoulders and your head to actually spin you. Now, it's the same effect as if you're actually doing it parkour-wise, if you're just sitting here and you're doing some spins. Like, I really hope you guys can figure that out. If you can't figure out how to 180 and 360 on flat ground without a scooter, I think you might be lost. There might not be hope for you. But for the people who have those down, we're taking it to the next level, we're doing it on the scooter. But basically, if we're doing a 180 right here, what I'm gonna be doing is getting a solid jump, I'm saying a couple inches off the ground, and then from there, using my head to turn to the direction I wanna go, and then also getting my body to move myself to that direction. So with a solid jump, and with your body trying to turn, with your shoulders and your head combined, you should be able to get that 180 around. So I'm just gonna do a quick couple more just to show you guys how I would be doing that 180, how I actually use my arms and my head and my shoulders and getting jumping power to actually turn and do that 180. And for a 360, it's generally the same concept. You want to get a good jump, you want to use your head, your shoulders, and everything to lean to that direction and to spin yourself. But, of course, you're going to be doubling the spin doing a 360, so you're going to have to try probably twice as hard. You already know I'm going to strap this helmet. It's going to go flying right now. I mean, it's getting dangerous. We're going to get 23 concussions here. But essentially, with the 360 flat, it's the same thing. You just want to pull extra hard and follow through with it. Kind of almost spun that one low key. So I'll do another one. Boom. And I'll do another one, I'll draw this one out. But essentially, spinning on a scooter isn't that hard. It's essentially the same thing as normally spinning. You're just gonna have to carry the weight of the scooter and the bars with you. But these were tricks I literally did way back in the day when I first started scooting. These were the basic tricks that I first started learning when I started riding. And I would literally try these tricks flat, like out my driveway, I'd be riding around the neighborhood. I'd eventually start trying them off of curbs, stuff like that. I'd slowly start to push myself and trying to send those tricks to bigger spots. But I really did essentially just learn most of these flat, because back then I didn't even know Triangle was a skate park back then. I just just had my Razor scooter, so I was just sending 180s flat, 360s, I got those down. I mean, that, that, that's at least what I did. I thought that was a pretty good way to do it. But that's pretty much going to do it for 180s and 360s and how to spin on a scooter. But hopefully that tutorial helped you guys. Let me know, comment down below what trick you want me to do for next Trick Tutorial Tuesdays, because we will do it. Whether it's truck drivers, whether it's whip rewind, finger whip, ride flip, ride flip, that's a big one. Maybe we do a back flip, a little flare in there. All those fun ones, they're coming. They're coming in the future, right? We just want to get the basics down, get the those out there and work our way up. But yeah, let me know what trick you want to do next week. And of course, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications because subscribing is not enough. You need to do post notifications as well because I subscribe to YouTube channels and I don't get the notifications all the time. You have to hit the bell. So go ahead, hit the bell at the subscribe button. Then you're going to get all the notifications. Then you won't miss a video because you don't want to miss a video. We got videos three times a week on the channel. I'm talking Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. We have good content here. We ride, chronicles, tutorials, everything. So yeah, guys, that's going to at the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. I'm going to strap on my helmet now because I'm going to say goodbye. And maybe next week somebody can make a trick tutorial Tuesdays on how to flare and teach me. Because I really don't know. Alright, I'm leaving. That one was so bad actually.